Hello everybody and welcome to another gameplay commentary slash walkthrough. This is uh, ZPO Harvest. It's one of the more popular objective maps in the game. Uh, there, there are some servers like that are 24-7 Harvest. And sometimes I go on them, but... Anyways, uh, you can see I just got the AK-47 here. It's one of two, I believe, um, power weapons that are in the startup of the map. The other one is the Winchester shotgun, which spawns in the area that's behind me right now. And as you can see right here, uh, the zombies, if they're smart zombies, they'll usually go through that window because it's really easy to to break through. Now you, you see me here going into this uh, room. It's like the living room and the kitchen is combined. Um, and the, the way you want to do wh what you want to do here is to barricade this area just to uh, barricade the, that door uh, put like, like a board up board up or two try to put the shelf if you can uh, like keep it upright and once you have the shelf there you want to try to push the sofa to keep the shelf in place I don't know if they I don't think my team does it here but I think we still we still keep the zombies out uh, this window right here is also a possible entry point. Um, it's slightly easier than going through the main door and uh, the back door. So you just gotta be careful that if you do see a zombie, I think you can shoot through the glass and you'll still be able to hit them. But we have a lot of people right now so it's pretty easy to defend. Uh, okay, so now the broadcast is gonna be playing from the TV. If you look at the TV, it's not gonna... It's not going to show anything, it's just more like a radio recording. But they basically, they basically say that the military is coming by, and they're going to pick you up. So you have to find some way to uh, signal that you're still in the house, rather than in the farm area. So you just have to wait a few more minutes, you got to wait for this guy to stop talking. You know, it, for a mod, it actually has, like, decent voice acting, so... Yeah, see, you can see how the zombies broke through the kitchen window. That's probably the, um, the one you want to keep an eye, your eye on the most. The, the front door is also pretty dangerous, too. So, after the radio recording, um, just go through the door. Make sure somebody stays behind to close the door. I know it, it, it takes a few seconds and it's kind of dangerous, so make sure somebody who has like the power weapon or something uh, closes the door after everybody's gone through. Now, the next objective you have to do is to find the fuse and to bring back to this bomb to blow up this wall right here. So once the fuse is set, you'll want to take, take some cover because uh, it is possible for survivors to blow up. I've seen it happen multiple times, it even happened to me a few times. but. Yeah, I, I got lucky there. The two zombies were almost getting towards me. But once the tunnels exploded, you'll want to go through. If you have a, a powerful weapon, make sure you cover your teammates to go through. I don't, I don't think I got to save that guy, but I make sure my other teammates get through the tunnel okay. I watch their back. Uh, and the, the next objective is to find the Come generator on, key, um, which is in the barn. I think I'll show you how to where it is right now. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, getting the key, you go up the stairs. You're gonna go up the stairs anyways, and the key is on this little uh, pillar right here with some free ammo. So, make sure to take that. And once the key's taken, you basically go into the generator, which is located to the right of the exit of the tunnel. And you basically just go down into this cage area and you activate the little switch. Uh, after that's done, you want to barricade as fast as you can because the zombies are going to start spawning really near and you're going to have to defend this place for a few minutes. What I like to do is to set boards on this uh, stair area. That's the one where, where mo the zombies usually go to. That, that one's pretty easy to defend. Alright, um, this is uh, y another priority thing you have to do in defending this place is to not to destroy the board that um, connects the house to the barn, which you can see right here. Uh, you want to make sure you can destroy it as easily as, I mean, not as easily, but as fast as possible. 
because otherwise the zombies will start. It's just like a bridge to your area. So after that's done, um, just go back and start uh, def like defending. I'm not sure exactly how long it takes to defend this, but I think maybe about three minutes, maybe two. I I never get the track track, but yeah, they're gonna start coming out of that um, the stairs right there. Uh, boarding up that place is a pretty good idea. If you have a say you have a found a bunch of ammo, right, and you had some caves with you, I'd recommend hitting that area with like two good boards and um, defending just shooting them through the stairs. I had a close call there, I fell, but luckily the zombies didn't see me. The The place they're, they're mostly going to go to is either going to the stairs or trying to destroy the door that's right next to the stairs because that opens up a back the back uh, door which makes it easier for the zombies to get in and you don't want that because some of the zombies are going to spawn outside and you want to keep them out for as long as possible. One thing to remember is that there's barely, scarcely any ammo in this area. Um, especially if you have a good sized team, you're probably not going to get that much unless you hoard. But you'll you'll have enough to defend if you have a, like a good amount of team members alive. It's enough to defend the, the place for quite a bit. At least until the military arrives. Uh, I've, I think I've ran out of ammo right here. But there you go, there's a signal that the military is arriving. So you have to hit this switch to activate the, the lights to signal that you got that yeah, that your survivors are there. Once you hit that, you try to go to the vehicle as fast as possible, uh, taking out any zombies in between, and just go in and you win. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you watch this before Halloween, hope you have a good Halloween. And if you watch after, hope it was a good one. I'll see you guys next time.